Hey guys, thanks for watching. So today's video will be highlighting the most important basic skills that almost every successful actor uses. So I'm going to be picking skills that I think are crucial to the foundation of every actor and are also extremely easy for even the most beginner of actors to learn. So the first thing I want to teach you guys is actually a trio. It's called the objective, the action, and the intention. Now this, this is what you're going to use for your character development. These three tools are going to be the absolute core of developing any character that you are going to immerse yourself in. Now let's start with the objective. The objective is your character's ultimate goal in that scene or throughout that story, but that would be considered the super objective. So your objective for a scene is what is going to motivate you throughout the scene. What are you trying to get? What do you want? Now, in order to achieve this objective, you're going to be using actions and you're going to be using your intention. Now your actions is what your character is doing throughout the scene to get to that objective. So these might be physical actions that your character is doing. This might be things that your character is saying. Now the final piece to this trio is extremely crucial. This is your intention. The intention is essentially the emotion and what is behind the action, the way you're saying it, what you feel. So let's say I'm in a scene with a female character and my objective in the scene is to get her to go on a date with me. So the actions taking place in the scene, for example, is we're walking in a park together and I say, hey, that's a really nice dress. You're not gonna just say, hey, that's a really nice dress. You're going to have intention behind that. You're going to have that emotion which carries throughout that action which will ideally eventually get you to your objective. So my intention behind, hey, that's a really nice dress might be, I love you. I'm in awe of you. Uh, so let's try to use that. Here's an example. So this is just without any intention, just saying line, hey, that's a really nice dress. Now with an intention of what I previously stated. Hey, that's a really nice dress. So you can tell a clear difference. You can tell with my intention, there's something behind that than more than just a compliment. So those three tools, extremely important for any beginner, any intermediate, and any experienced actor. Another extremely important tool is having a well-developed backstory. So by backstory, I mean creating a story behind your character. So coming up with their background, what their life is like, where they grew up, how old they are, what they like to do in their free time, what they do for a living. The more in-depth you get, the better it is for you to connect to your character. And when I'm talking about backstory, you also have to keep in mind the relationships that this character has, especially with the other people that are involved in this story. So develop those relationships with those other people in the story. How long have you been friends with them? Uh, are you guys close? Have you had any issues in the past? Have you been more than just friends? How did you meet? All of that is going to be crucial. The more you do that, the better it will be for you to connect with your character and the easier it will be for the audience to connect with you. The third tool that I want you guys to keep in mind is to avoid generalization. Maybe generalization isn't a term that you've heard before, but it is extremely common, especially for beginner actors. Generalization is using the same kind of intentions, using the same kind of actions throughout a scene which is often not good because it, it ends with a, a boring performance and one that is not as believable because we are all very multi-dimensional beings. 
we have many different emotions and throughout a single conversation we are emitting various different feelings. So you don't want to stick with intentions that are just one given emotion. So say, say for that example where I'm trying to flirt with a girl to get her to go out with me. I'm not going to constantly, constantly flirt with her. Okay? There's going to be moments where I feel self-conscious. There's going to be moments where I might play hard to get. I might make fun of her, kind of tease her in a joking way. It's not just going to be me flirting. Hey, you look great. Oh, you know, you should see me later. Oh, you know, <laughs> that, see, like that just sounds kind of creepy. You want to have a variety of different emotions and intentions behind your actions. Now this next advice I'm going to give you may sound a little corny. You may have heard this term many times. Acting is reacting. Well, there's a lot of truth behind that. The most important thing you really can do in a scene when you're working with someone else is to listen. Listening not only to the person who is behind that character that you're working with, you have to really listen to that character. What they're saying to you, what the meaning is behind their sayings, that connection that you have with that other character and its importance and its relations to uh, whatever it is that they're trying to tell you. Okay. And the more of that you understand, the more natural your reaction is going to be to them and the more interesting your reaction is going to be to them. Acting really is reacting. You can't just be acting halfway when you're talking. A lot of your acting is going to come through your physicality and your demeanor when someone is talking to you. Now that you have all these different tools to use as your homework, you do your homework, you work on your scene, you put in all the effort, but once that scene begins, you throw all that homework away. And I know that's kind of contradictive of what I've just said, but you want to be in the moment as much as possible. This homework, these tools that I'm telling you, they will help you to prepare for that scene and for that moment. And once that moment happens, once that camera starts or once you're on that stage, you have to just forget everything that you were learning, everything that you pre-planned and be in the moment and be as natural as you possibly can be. And this homework helps you to do that. It helps you to be in the moment as much as possible and it helps you to have really interesting, really profound reactions and emotions in the scene. Just don't try to pre-plan it because you never know what you'll actually do in that scene. We as people often don't actually know how we're going to react to things. We might think we know what we're going to do, but once it actually happens, it might be very different. It might be similar, but who knows? So do your homework and then just enjoy the moment. All right, guys. So that's my video. I'm sure there is many more uh, basic tools that you can learn and I'll make videos on those other things. But I think these are just some crucial basic tools that are helpful for anyone. So leave a comment, please subscribe if you found this video helpful and uh, I hope you guys have a great day. All right, take care. Good luck on any potential scenes that you might have coming up.